that Luca should receive baptism in the place of church which we have progressed with you. Luca, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Great boy. Brave boy. <laughs> This one, this next step is very significant. <laughs> you know what that is? <laughs> this is the oil of prison, uh, the most valuable oil. Yeah? It's, uh, it's very, 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 uh, very scented with rosemary. Yeah? And the significance of the significance of this is that the baptized is now go once and the baptized is now church with this. It, it's the same. It's the same as Jesus was baptized. And now the, the chrism is the great word for uh, for Christ. You know, Christ of Christ. And so the significance of this, the significance of this anointing, is that the child Loka is going to be not only the child of God, yeah, but he's also the you know, also of Christ. And you see, for all of us who have been baptized, we are Christ. I don't know, and, uh, and we don't, that impact of that is not, doesn't sink into us. Remember, they, because when we were baptized, we were also uh, anointed with this. And so you become a Christ. So if you if you really if you really see to that, you can never hurt each other. Why? Because you're hurting Christ. <laughs> so, so remember that, you know. So, but there there is there is still the the trial of good and evil in us, you know. Yeah. And that thing about that we need to overcome. Yeah. And so Almighty God, the Father of all Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to these people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, so you, remain, you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king. <laughs> so, once we are entered with this, we become priest, prophet, and king. Yeah. I will anoint Luca on the cross of his head. No, it's okay. Just uh, keep it there. You have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment be a sign to you of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by words and example, bring it and sustain into the everlasting life. Amen. Do you like that, Mr. Kendall? Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. Now your child, Luca, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as a child of the light, and persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints. 
and the heavenly court. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this child Loka, reborn through baptism, is now called the child of God, for true indeed he is. Through confirmation, she will, he will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, and approaching the altar of the Lord, he will share at the table of his sacrifice, and will call upon God as Father in the mission of the church. Now in his name, and the spirit of the adoption of sons and daughters, which we will have received, let us pray together in the word that our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. And so together we pray. Our Father, who is in heaven, may be thy name, be Blessing for the mother, blessing for the father, and blessing for all. The Lord God Almighty, through His Son, born of the Virgin Mary, bring joy to Christian mothers as the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children. May He graciously bless this mother of this child, Luca. So that she now give thanks for the gift of her child. She will she may always remain united with him in thanksgiving in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And for the Father. May the Lord God Almighty, the giver of both life in heaven and on earth, bless the father of this child, so that together with his wife, they may by word and sample prove to be the first witnesses of the faith for the child in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And for everyone, you may stand for your own blessing. Thank you. <laughs> may the Lord God Almighty, who by water the Spirit has given you new birth into eternal life, about that we bless His Spirit with your blessing, that always and not idle where they may be active members of His people, and may and may He bestow His grace on all who are here in Christ Jesus, O oh Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.